I'm an immigrant. I came to this country with next to nothing. And to support myself to go to school, I had to work on three part-time jobs. And eventually, I was able to uh, obtain two master degrees. You are not defined by what happened to you. You are defined by what you choose to become. Resilience is what helped me to keep going, moving forward with courage, but don't get discouraged. You have all the power in you, all the strength in you from your mothers, your grandmothers, from your community. You can always do what you want to do and you can always live your passion at any age. Being Latina is fundamental to who I am in the world and my community is everything. And I think that the more that we focus on community and we know that we're not alone, we're not meant to do this life alone, we're not meant to do business alone. That is really what's gonna help us uh, change the world and change the landscape of business. At 56, I never thought that I could create a community that supports so many women on so many levels, where they can talk about mental health, they could talk about menopause. They can talk about who they are, the ups and downs of being 40, 50, 60 plus, and not feel judged. Owning the right that we have to be here as women, because trust me, the isms will catch up with you, and the ism being ageism, or whatever ism may be out there that may be applied to any human just one day at a time and one person at a time. You take an interest in people who show ambition and who are bright and who want to go somewhere in their career. And it's really all about that personal time that you give them, helping them define their goals, helping them figure out how to get there. I had a great role model in my mom. My mom grew up in Argentina. She didn't have any advantages. So she had the opportunity to buy an alteration store. And for her, it was a huge leap. And she really set a great example on Nothing's impossible. You're responsible for mapping your own journey and partnering with people that can help you realize that journey and follow that path. Sometimes you have to find that path on your own. Don't be afraid to ask how you can get to that point. We all are empowered to have a voice. Representation matters in everything and always and you need to be able to have someone support you in finding your own way to create these spaces where other women can see what's possible and then figure out where they fit within that. You have to show up authentically so that people know that you see them, you hear them, and that you're gonna walk beside them as they try to figure it out. I think it's so important that we leverage our power as women. I talk to girls all the time that have no idea that there are hundreds of jobs available in construction and transportation. And I think it's so critical that we not only teach them about self-confidence and empowerment, but that we connect them to jobs so that they can really go forward and have a good living and have the expectation that that's what they should have. I'm a big believer that we have to, as women, continue to lift as we climb. Lifting as we climb means we acknowledge that we're on a journey of our own come up story in a world that has made it harder than it should be to actually pursue our own full potential. And yet, what are we gonna do with those opportunities? What are we gonna do with that power? We have to turn around and lift others up with us. We have to make the climb easier. What I would say to the woman that I was 10 years ago is to have more trust in yourself. Believe that what you're doing right now is so important and it will build upon itself for whatever comes next. Having made a change in my career at a later stage of life, I didn't know how much abundance was possible. Women should embrace the word power. Power isn't an, a negative word. Power is actually a very positive word. Power means that you have the ability, the willingness, the strength, the confidence to accomplish whatever your goals are. And I think the word power should be used more as associated with women. And I think that we should all be proud and step into our power. Power oftentimes comes from more of a servant leadership perspective and supporting others 
really helping others live into their potential, helping others live into their opportunities to make decisions, to use their experiences and their knowledge to impact communities. And so part of using your power to empower others is really serving others and doing what you can to support them and help them be successful. Power doesn't live in an individual, it lives in a collective, it lives in a community. And so, so much of my work has been recognizing the power of others and helping them to step into that power. I believe uh, that people are innately powerful, that women are innately powerful, that women of color are innately powerful, that girls are innately powerful. Never doubt that a small, committed, thoughtful group of women can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has.